The Soldier's Christmas Poem. Twas the night before Christmas, he lived all alone in a one bedroom house made of plaster and stone. I had come down the chimney with presents to give and to see just who in this dwelling did live. I looked all around a straight sight to see, no tinsel, no presents, not even a tree, no stockings on the mantel, just boots filled with sand. On the wall hung pictures of far distant lands, medals and badges, awards every kind. A sobering thought came alive in my mind. This house was different. It was dark. It was dreary. I had found the how of a soldier. I could see that most clearly. The soldier lay sleeping, silent, alone, curled up on the floor in this one bedroom home. His face was so gentle, the room in such disorder, not at all how I pictured a United States soldier. Was this the hero of whom I just read? curled up on a poncho, the floor for a bed. Then I realized the other families that I saw on this night hold their lives to soldiers who are willing to fight. In the morning, the world, the children would play. Grown-ups would celebrate a bright Christmas day, but they all enjoy freedom each month of the year because of soldiers like the one lying here. I couldn't help but wonder how many lay alone on a cold Christmas Eve in lands far from home. The very thought brought a tear to my eye. I dropped to my knees and started to cry. The soldier awakened. I heard his rough voice. Santa, don't cry. This life is my choice. I fight for freedom. I don't ask for more. My life is my God my country, my core. The soldier rolled over and drifted to sleep, but I couldn't control it and I continued to weep. I kept watch for hours so silent and still as both of us shivered from the old night's chill. I didn't want to leave him on that cold, dark night. This guardian of honor, so willing to fight. Then the soldier rolled over with a voice soft and pure. He whispered, carry on Santa, it's Christmas day, all secure. One look at my watch and I knew he was right. Merry Christmas, my friend. May God bless you this night.